my channel. If you're looking to learn fun and easy glitter tumbler designs and DIY crafts, start today by subscribing to my channel below. Become that glitterholic and click that notification bell so you always know when I upload. All right, guys. So we are going to do an easy pencil tumbler. So these are always fun to do. They are a little lengthy, but I'm going to try to cut some corners here and show you all how I get them done. So here are our supplies. You're gonna need a prepped tumbler, and this is a uh, 20 ounce built tumbler where, uh, and I purchased it at Walmart. I'm going to be using electrical tape, and I'm gonna be using painter's tape, which is a half of inch. I have a couple of brushes uh, because because I'm gonna need one for Mod Podge, the other for acrylic paint, and I always like to use my little foam brushes so that I can um, do a second layer of glitter. I have also have printed out, and I cut this out on my Cricut. I did uh, five triangles, and I welded them together so that I can come, um, I can get my perfect cross and I did measure out my um my design before printing it out so like my cup to ensure that I have like the actual accurate measurement so I'll show you how I get that done the colors are from our pencil kit it's candy yum yum tin man sunflower fool's gold and nyc so I'm so excited to show you so Candy Yum Yum and Sunflower are um, iridescent glitters, so they pick up the base a little bit, and I wanted to make sure that they had that very rich pink and that very rich yellow, so I am going to be um, priming my cup with uh, acrylic paint using Diva Pink um, from Walmart Apple Barrel and Sunny Day by Apple Barrel as well, and I don't have much of this because I do these quite often, um, and I'm going to be using black from also Apple Barrel and uh, this is just for me just to give my black more richness as well. Okay, so I'm gonna show you all the way I do it. So I actually start with my, with my pencil actually looking downward. So I'm going to go ahead and start layering this up as if the pencil was at top and then bottom. So the, the tip is going to be black and the top is going to be the pink. Okay, so the eraser. Alrighty, so the way I achieve this is by ensuring that my, that my lines are as straight as can be. So I'm gonna be using my painter's tape to hold onto like the, the, the length of the cup and so that where I know where I'm putting I'm basically like lining up my line so if you can see I'm holding down that tip and I'm pressing against the cup and I'm not moving I'm just moving my cup around okay moving my cup all around as steady as you can be you can I have taped down my pen but I'm not too worried about it because you can always clean this up, all right? So that's gonna be my first line, okay? And it's, you know, just perfect enough so that I can measure this out. And I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my second one. So I have to make my first line, which was the eraser. And then my second line is going to be for that metal piece. So I always start off by doing these things because, sorry, mine is a little jagged there. Um, I always start off by making my line, so where I'm placing my tape, because it just makes it easier to identify later. Perfect, it's lined up. Okay, so it's going to be pink, silver, yellow. So now, here I go, placing my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my vinyl, and this is vinyl that, I have stored, like if I don't really use the color, that's what I I use, okay? And I'm not going to use transfer tape. I am just going to carefully, let's see if I, 
I use my cool noodle here. I always tell you guys this, it's so much easier to do this when you're not on camera. All right, so I'm gently going to use that little edge that I have, that little bottom piece, to be my point of reference of where I'm placing down my vinyl. And just like any vinyl, you don't wanna to have too many bubbles, but I'm not really concerned about it because this is not staying laid down. This is something you're peeling right back up. It's your marker. It's so that way you don't have to worry about making, um, like making the lines with tape. Um, I find that it could be difficult um, to make like really pretty like little marks. So with painter's tape or with electrical tape. So this kind of just gives you, it avoids that, um, avoids you having to do that. And if you're really good at preserving your, preserving your, if you're really good at preserving your, your uh the items that you have so your supplies then you you'll be able to lift this back up and put it right back on the backing and reuse it again and that's typically what i try to do um so that i can use it over as much as i need to you know nothing nothing crazy i i don't go crazy over it you see so it looks all around now be careful um i'm using this paint and primer spray paint. So it didn't stick on very well, but that's okay. I have my marker, which is all I need. So let's go ahead and tape this up so I don't lose any more of my line. Um, so this is gonna give you a really good point of reference of where you wanna start your, um, like following the, the, the line and the design so that you're not, um you're not uneven so your lines aren't are not uneven and that's like my biggest pet peeve having on the uneven lines some of these designs can be a really big pain because you're just not that they need to be perfect but they should look pretty accurate so that's what we're trying to achieve a pretty accurate line and that's making sure that your tape matches up to one another um, always give yourself a little clasp there. Okay. Have scissors nearby for, I love electrical tape. Um, I prefer it over, I prefer using it over painter's tape, uh, because it holds my lines a lot better. Uh, but I didn't. I couldn't find electrical tape any bigger in size than than what I normally find. So I was like, whatever, we'll just use painter tape. We'll use a combination. No big deal. Just use your supplies that you have. I'm all about making sure that you are not spending as much because um, a lot of you guys know I try to save you guys a buck or two. All right, so flip that over all right take a look at that and if you're like well stuff you have all those lines don't worry about that um you can always grab a rag and some and some alcohol -ing. um alcohol -ing, excuse me some isopropyl alcohol and just clean it up see just like that and it comes right up how beautiful is that love it love it love it all right so I am going to work. I'm going to take this off my painter's tape. And I only did this because I want to make sure that I have this line. So if you're like stuff that was waste, that's fine. I like to make sure that my lines are matching up, that they're even, so I'm not worried about it later. That's why I do all my painter's tape. So I'm going to clean this up really quickly. I have no black marks underneath and I'm cool with it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my paints and I'm not doing, actually, I could just do this. Bam, bam, bam. Open it because I don't need much. And I'm just giving this a base and you absolutely don't have to do this, but I want to make sure 
that my pink is super vibrant and so is my yellow. Um, I don't really want the white to peer through. And it's always, you know, easier if you, with, tra with uh, like regular colors where metallic or opaque, um, they don't really peer up as much, but you wanna make sure that you always, always get your base close to the color glitter. It just really helps pick up that the beauty and the color of your glitter. Um, with iridescent glitters, it's almost necessary because it will pick up the base underneath. We're gonna let this dry for, give it five minutes. Um, honestly, it is really, really quick. I'm probably gonna hit this with a little bit of a heat gun not too much only so therefore it doesn't um i don't want my paints to crack okay all right sweet deal so this has dried to the touch you can see dry to the touch so this is perfect so let's go ahead and set up our mod podge I'm gonna use a little cup for this so that I can control it a little bit better. And like I did at the with the paints, I'm gonna start at the top. So I'm gonna be using Candy Yum Yum for this. So I'm gonna set this up. And you should always have a piece of paper nearby so that you can capture all your glitter. I'm gonna go ahead and start using my foam brush. Uh, I will need a more detailed brush for the bottom portion but I'm not worried about it right now so you want to take uh, you want to make sure that you have even strokes so I love 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 and hate Mod Podge because you have to make sure that you have even an even stroke um you'll have others that'll be like oh don't worry about it it's okay no it's not okay um if you have humps like that like blue humps what ends up happening is your glitter lays over those humps so it doesn't allow an even um an even lay of your glitter and there's no way to come about that you will see that um with epoxy so make sure that you have as even as possible strokes around your um your lay of Mod Podge, okay? So that's really good right there. And what I'm gonna do is leave that there. And I'm going to sprinkle my candy yum yum onto that all around. Sprinkle your glitter. How gorgeous is this? All right. So this is just tapping that there so I can get any excess oil. Okay, so can we see how gorgeous Candy Yum Yum is lifting with that base at the bottom? So we would still have that pink even if we had the white. However, it wouldn't have been as vibrant. So you want to make sure that when using iridescent glitters, you are giving it a base, okay? How gorgeous is that? And so that I can keep my glitters for a long time let me put this back in okay so now let's go ahead and while we let that dry let's mod podge this area the yellow okay Now guys, as you guys are still watching this video, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel. Um, we do a lot of tutorials. We're still growing on uh, what we're doing in regards to our tutorials and we're bringing to you a lot of content. If you haven't joined us on Facebook, do so. We have a group called Glitterful Glitter Fanatics where we showcase a lot of our glitter, a lot of our craft too. We have a big community of crafters um, that are just, you know, amazing. We have Make It Mondays where we, we have a lot of group members that will do videos um, showcasing some of these awesome designs and, you know, teach one another. We are all about supporting one another. So 
really exciting. All right, so as you saw, I mod podged around my cup, having very little humps, zero to none. Take a look at that. All right, so now once we're done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and start laying that glitter down. I'm tilting this so that it comes down a little bit better. And all around, you wanna make sure it's all around. I love sunflower, I love this color. It's like the per the perfect yellow. It's not um, too bright and it's not too dull, which I love about, I love it so much. All right, and there's some areas, Mod Podge dries very, very quickly. So there's some areas like right there that will, when we do the second coat, it will need to be touched up very well, but I'm just gonna help it out real quick by doing that. And then we'll come back to it too. But some areas that have a little less, we'll have to hit when we do our second layer. Take a look at that. How gorgeous. All right, so I love using the foam brushes uh, when it doesn't come to detail. So, and let me explain what I mean by that. So I like the foam brushes because it allows more Mod Podge to get onto the brush, meaning it allows for a better second coverage. Um, and you'll see what I mean because right now we need not to sway, if that makes sense. So we're not swiping on the glitter, uh, the Mod Podge. We need to dab into the glitter because we need to get into those crevices that didn't maybe sit very well, uh, that didn't have much glitter so that we get a really nice lay uh, and coverage on the cup, okay? So as you can see, I'm using all the Mod Podge that's in on my brush and that's fallen into my brush and I'm pressing into my cup and I'm swiping down. So I have even strokes, um, but I have enough coverage in my glitter. So it's like soaking into the glitter. All right. And this will also be a good sealant. So for any loose glitter, that um like for any glitter that may be loose it's now going to be stuck in there all right and you can see i got some on my brush i'm gonna have to clean that off before i mix in my yellow all right so let's go ahead and pour more yet more candy yum yum this pink And I make sure that I get really good coverage because this is going to be my final layer of glitter for this. I only do two layers. I don't, don't go overboard. Little goes a long way. So two coats is more than enough. Take a look and look at that vibrancy of that eraser. Okay. So let's go ahead and clean this up. Let's put the remainder of our candy yum yum away. And let's go back to our sunflower, the basis of our cup. I'm gonna clean that off. Make sure I don't have any candy yum yum because I don't want that to be contaminated. And I'm gonna clean my brush off really quickly. I love, lo I can't tell you how much I love using these foam brushes. I use them quite often. And honestly, they're so cheap. They're like, you can buy a, a pack for like 98 cents. So I absolutely love them. It just makes life so much easier. And they do tear apart because they are kind of cheap, but you can see they can tear apart, but just buy another pack and you'd be happy. And they come in a lot of different sizes. So truly, truly happy girl when it comes to these brushes. All right, so again, let's do the same thing. Um, this time, I'm actually not gonna start at the this top, I'm gonna start here, because we had a lot of missing um, tips here. 
And so I wanna make sure that I have really good coverage and I'm gonna need more glue. Okay, and I'm, for anybody that was wondering, I'm using gloss Mod Podge. I mean, you can use whatever Mod Podge you decide. I get yelled at a lot for not saying Mod Podge correctly. And it, it makes me giggle. Sorry guys, it's just the northerner in me. I just add extra to everything. Um, all right, so, and I'm just swiping down that excess, but I wanna make sure that I'm getting really nice coverage onto the, onto my base there. And so you're just gonna keep pushing, keep pushing down, okay? And swiping once you've already pushed. Never swipe before, always once you've already pushed that, this uh, brush into it, okay? This is gonna allow the smooth coverage. And I know it seems tedious, but you want a smooth, like flat lay versus a non flat lay. It's, you're gonna be really annoyed with yourself if you feel like you have an uneven cup and you will be able to tell the difference. You'll see some cups that look a little uneven and that's not what you want. You don't want your glitter to look uneven on a cup, okay? So if you're planning to do, use Mod Podge and you're doing two layers of glitter, this is the best way in my opinion. Okay. Take a look at that. Oh, this brush is given out on me. I still love it. I'm not going to give up on it. Okay. So keep doing this all around until you meet its point. Okay. All around, all around, all around. So each um, layer of, of color for glitter is going to need a separate brush. Um, and, and I'll explain. So for example, I'm not, I wasn't worried about this sector having, and, and the pink having um, the foam brush. And I didn't have this problem because I knew that these areas were first of all protected by each um, tape. Uh, and I'd also didn't require a lot of detail because of the tape. The tape and the vinyl were creating those, um, were protecting those lines. But once we lift the tape, we're gonna need a more detailed brush, a more pointed brush so that you are able to keep those beautiful um, straight lines. So right here, guys, if you can see, um, there's some glitter that lifted up with how I swipe. So that's why you want to be careful when you're pushing in. You don't want to swipe too like hard because you can still lift some loose glitter. Okay. All right. I'm going to do that to the side. All right. So I'm going to start again at a corner for this so that it can fall. And you're dropping it down all around. So now this all this entire all this cut all these colors can be purchased together in a kit so that it can make it easier for you. We sell all these colors at two ounces individually or together um, so that you can just have what you need on our website at www.glitterful.com. Okay, so you can definitely do that. I just find it easier to buy things in kit. Um, if you guys follow us on social media, uh, we just had a whole conversation about that. Uh, my husband and I about how we're two, him and I are com two different shoppers. Like I am one that needs to have it right there in front of me and he's more of the one that likes to shop and look around and I just like to make it easier for everyone. So we have both options available for you all. Right. Whatever type of shopper you are. So take a look at that. Look at this gorgeous coverage. 
four chests. Okay. So I'm just going to keep stomping that a little bit, making sure everything comes off. And let me put my sunflower away. All right. Perfect. All right. So trying to move everything to the sides I have it available and in front of me. So for this section, I'm going to be using this brush. It is a T square brush. Okay. Um, and this is going to allow me to have more of a precise, um, precise lay of my glitter, my next glitter, but I'm actually going to wait at least 10 minutes to let this dry. I'm going to help it by using heat, my heating gun for this. But what I want to do is I wanna give this a second to let it sit because we do have some areas which is loose. And so for that reason, I don't want my next glitter color, which is going to be silver, to stick onto there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel my tape off and the reason I'm peeling off is because as much as I want this to dry I don't want the tape to dry and lift any glitter on there okay so I'm peeling this off so I have my area open and I don't want um and I and then I'm gonna help it dry a little bit so I'm lifting this vinyl piece too Lifting, and I'm always careful when I'm lifting stuff, guys. I don't, um, I rather take my time. It also helps with the timing of, uh, like letting things dry. Let's see, and I ripped my vinyl, and that's okay. I'm not worried about it. I just keep ripping it off. And it creates these really nice triangles, see? And these are the hardest thing. I think for a pencil cup, everyone, I think the hardest part is like getting these really pretty um, like triangles. So this actually helps you. You don't have to worry about taping this off. The vinyl itself will do it for you. So it's just really really, really easy to do it like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my heating gun and I'm just going to give this heat for about, I don't know, I'm gonna give it heat for a couple minutes there, just blowing. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit on its own for at least another three minutes and then we'll be right back. Okay, so once you let this dry, go ahead and with your fine, your brush, your fine brush, the one that's T-pointed, you wanna make sure that you start by adding your Mod Podge. I like to do it in the center, guys. So. Um, and then I'll go back and I'll do the sides, but I start in the center so that it spreads out a nice, even amount of glue. Okay. I did not clean my center, as you can see. So it, uh, I didn't clean out the area where I made my line. So it has like that black mark right there, but that's okay. It's going to be covered and you're not going to be able to see it. So I'm not worried about it. Move that out of my way so I'm not hitting my glitter. Okay. 
Okay. Very, very carefully. You want to go all around. And this also allows for an even lay. Okay. All around. All right, and you're gonna start adding your glitter. And so, I'm at, this is Tin Man, so if you guys didn't catch that, this is Tin Man. Take a look at that. And you wanna make sure that you try not to get it onto the other colors, okay? I know it's gonna be a little bit difficult, but try your hardest. Um, you can always use a brush to kind of swipe away that excess, um, but you wanna continue to keep the integrity of the other two colors. Like, I got some on my pink area and I'll clean that off. How cool is that? And so I'm gonna tap, 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 and that's also gonna help tap away some of that excess that fell onto the other side. But look how gorgeous. And Tin Man just does something different to it because it really showcases that bright and holographic look. So look at that, gorgeous. Okay, um, so then, I forgot to add my black paint to the bottom of my cup so that I had a really nice dark color. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that while I let that dry. And I'm going to use my old brush that I use for candy yum yum. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to use this brush. Okay. So I'm actually just going to grab the tip of this. I'm going to move that to the side. So I'm, I always do the bottom, but I'm not too concerned about having the bottom entirely black. And I wanna be able to put my cup down. So I'm just gonna paint this, like the, the rim at the bottom, okay? Down. And I just thought, this is, um, this is a very easy cup to do with any design um with any like style cup if you're doing the 30 ounces with the curve um it still works really great as long as you're just placing your tapes in the right areas and you're um you're measuring out where you want your tapes so i found that this uh skinny built 20 ounce again i purchased this one from walmart was extremely easy to use and i was like okay well this is perfect it had the line ready um, at the bottom so that I can use that as my my tip point, which I was really, really excited about. I was like, oh, this is perfect. I don't really have to think much about it. Measuring out um, takes a lot, a lot of time. So I was like, perfect, perfect, perfect. And again, you don't have to follow uh, the painting that I'm doing. I just find that it's easier uh, to paint and have those colors really close to um the paint that i'm that i'm the glitter color that i'm using it just makes it more rich and that's what i like i like to have my colors to be super super rich so that um, it intensifies the beauty of the glitter it just it just does and just like the mod podge guys when you're laying this down i don't know if you saw but i got some um I got some away from the rim, like the the line, see? And I'm not worried about it being perfect. I don't care to have it completely up to the rim. I just don't wanna mess up my line for the gold. So I'm just being really careful. Uh, black is black, so it's gonna be as dark. I just wanted to give it more of a darker base. Okay, and I'm going to quickly with some alcohol clean up that area that I got some 
ink on it. Okay, so I'm gonna use a little rag. Okay, and just, um, all I'm doing is I'm cleaning up the area that went off on that, okay? Okay, so while you let that dry, you can go ahead and go back to your silver. And ooh, that's giving me a chunk there. I don't want a chunk. And you want to work like the foam brush, but it's a little bit more difficult with uh, a tea, a tea brush or any soft bristle brush, really. But you just really want to do like the pat pat. And you're not, and I want to make sure I'm clear about this. You don't want to jam it in there. You just want to softly pat the glue down into the glitter, okay? Softly so that when it's still, it almost looks like it's a ton in there. So that when you're like uh, swiping, softly swiping, it still glides really nicely, okay? All right. So push, 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 push down. Okay. push 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 and glide and you want to try to get onto those edges now this brush has completely frayed on me and that's okay I'm not too worried about it I'm as you can see I'm moving really really gently across um, and I'm not trying to get too close to those edges so that I don't mess up the accuracy of my design. My, see? All right. So go ahead and add your, your glitter. And again, try to stay within that area. Let the glitter itself do its job to kind of lay across. Absolutely love Tin Man. It is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And pat it as much as you can so you can get that excess off, okay? Take a look at that. Phenomenal. So now you got your second edge there, your lines are clean, you're on a roll, okay? Let's clean up our Tin Man. Let's put it away. And let's get ready for our NYC. Our fool's gold, so our gold part where we have to really work these edges is going to be my last piece. It is always my last um, part to, to work only because it is extremely detailed. You don't want to mess up those triangles, those lines. The detail in it is everything. This is what makes this cup. So you want to make sure that it is very well um, detailed and it shows, okay? All right. Getting my brush ready. And getting it ready with glue. All right. Let me open my NYC. And NYC is an opaque, an opaque um, pure black, okay? 
All right, so again, I'm starting in my center. I'm gonna go all around. And I'm, I'm just going all around so that I can get a nice coat of glue, but I'm not going into those edges, okay? I'm not worried about those edges. And I am going to do the bottom, guys. Get a nice and now that I've done that and I have a nice layer I'm gonna go and hit those edges that rim right there so that I get a really nice clean line and if I have a bubble like what you just guys saw right there I call it a bubble but it's just like glue um, like excess of glue just pat it away okay with um your brush just put it somewhere else and then we can focus on redistributing later um all right so had i already um did my black acrylic paint i could have been in twine and had these both done together but i didn't so that's the only reason why uh one part is done and we're probably going to have a little bit of a wait time for the black but i'm not i'm not worried about it uh this will clean off this will dry very quickly all right look at this beauty okay and i'm gonna do the bottom and i'm gonna show you guys the difference of having it primed with black paint and having just a clear base, okay? In just two seconds, you could probably already see it. But take a look at how like brightly black it is. And then here at the bottom, you, because of the glue and the way uh, Mod Podge always lays, there's always some spaces that are just a little bit uh, bare at the beginning on the first coat, but you can't really see that with the black base okay so this is it really helps cover those blemishes now gotta get creative of the way i tap this and i'll be able to dust that off as soon as i can as soon as it's dry um so i'm going to give this a second Hmm. One of my twins got to that noodle. Okay, I'm going to hit this with the heat gun really quickly so that it can dry fast. and mod podge again but i'm first going to try to swipe away some of that extra that we have here i don't i don't want to accidentally keep any of that black onto there and maybe get mod podge and it gets stuck uh yes fool's gold will cover it but it's still black it's still black glitter and it's gonna be pretty dark underneath so i don't want to I want to get as much off as I can. So I'm just doing a quick clean. And I'm just using another bristle brush, guys. Nothing fancy. Use whatever you need. But I'm just using a bristle brush. Okay? All right. So you do. That's as good as I can do right now. Okay. All right, same thing. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and 
pat this down so i'm not going to put you guys through the torture of that i'm going to fast forward you guys through patting down the glue again and carefully swiping as you go so that you don't have too much and then we're going to go back onto All right, so once you've done adding your Mod Podge, making sure that it's even across, add your glitter again for the second, second layer of that color. I absolutely love how NYC just shines. Such a gorgeous color. Such a gorgeous color. making sure that my bottom is fully covered and I'm getting all the coverage I need. Take a look at this beauty. How gorgeous. Okay. There's not much I can do there. So again, let this dry for another five minutes. Uh, so that it makes sure it has an even coat all around and then we're going to get back to our final piece okay all right guys so once you let this dry you're going to i'm i'm going to be using a angled brush okay so if you can see it's an angled brush and it's it's a harder tip but still soft bristle and it's just going to give allow me more um precision when i'm laying when I'm getting close to those edges. So I'm gonna be using Fool's Gold, which is another, it's our holographic ultra fine gold. And um, I'm trying to make sure I don't get any glue that's contaminated because I've used a lot of glue. And I've cleaned off as best as I can those uh, black particles. I'm not too concerned about it at the moment. So again, I am adding glue in the center of these uh, triangle squares right here. Triangle squares, you hear me? Triangle uh, centers, okay? And I'm adding a lot of glue like this because I'm going to come back and use the brush to help me lay, to get closer to those edges. So as you can see, I'm coming close to this edge right here and I'm coming across and I'm using the glue to help guide me and and glide my brush along those areas making sure that I have I'm gonna get some off of there making sure that I have a really smooth finish across that and I got some glue there that's okay we can always fix that Okay, and so you want to glide across and around those because, again, the beauty of this cup is having those really clean lines. Um, you know you really won with this cup when it's that clean of a design, okay? So that's why you work so hard in getting those those tapes lay down the vinyl and it just really helps out when you're using your brushes for these details okay so it's always i'm always about making things as easy as it can be um i definitely think that using vinyl and uh or your cutting machine to for those triangle squares it's definitely easy now if you um are really good at making these lines with painter's tape, hey, I give it to you. I give it to you. I've tried and it's a disaster for me. So when I started to use vinyl for it, I was like, whoa, makes it easy. Okay. So all around. Just like that. Okay. 
there you go and so if you have some areas where it just didn't it's too maybe thick just do what i do i'm i'm grabbing some of those areas and i'm just taking that excess off okay never compromising the design um i have some areas where i have it's just that one that i have to be careful when i'm laying my glitter because it's gonna get gold on it and i don't want that to so i'm gonna have to be super careful not to have to fix it after but that's okay and that can happen sometimes so let me get away from there okay so i'm gonna go ahead and start laying down my glitter like i said you want to try to get it as close into those into your pocket so you're not really getting it into your other colors. Take a look at how gorgeous this is. It's I love Fool's Gold because it's so it's it's gold, but it's kind of almost bronzy like. So it's like a perfect a, per, a happy medium to like that wood look that your pen has. Okay, I'm gonna pat that down, pat, 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 pat. I'm gonna be careful because you can see I got some black on these outer edges and I'll just scoot that away before adding that back into my so I'm not contaminating so much of my glitter. And what I'll do is I will to not contaminate my glitter, I'll just use this again. You can brush any extra off that black right there. See, see how right there it didn't even get any. And that's what happens with Mod Podge. It is, it's a love and hate relationship with it, guys, I tell you. So I'm going to go back with my angled brush and I'm going to go back to those areas. So now again, I'm doing the pat pat version um, and I want to make sure I get into those areas that were really, really light. Okay. So I'm not going to put you through that hard. Just follow along, pat, 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 and then follow your edges. All right, guys. Okay. So before I start to wipe out any glitter, I'm going to heat this up because I want to make sure that it has a very nice finish. And then we can go ahead and start swiping away from the areas. I just don't want to pick up any loose glitter that may hinder the design so that's what i'm gonna heat this up and then i'm gonna let it naturally sit down and dry for about 10 minutes i'm gonna using my bigger brush for to swipe off any excess and i'm being really gentle about swiping away my glitter and as you saw i picked up see right there you want to be careful because this can happen uh with these edges and I'm just patting into those areas this design is very intricate so you want to make sure that um, you're letting things dry so I would say if you don't want to touch it unlike me like me let it sit for about 10 minutes i am just anxious to 
to get this out to you guys. So I'm just swiping away for first. Take a look at this beauty. So time is everything, but look at this gorgeousness. So there's some areas here like that need, um, just grab a brittle, like a bristle brush and you can kind of like remove some of that extra. You can add some more sunflower. That's okay. That happens with this, these designs guys, but take a look at how gorgeous this is. All right. So I'm just going to let this dry and sit by itself for a good 10 minutes and then I'm going to go ahead and seal it with clear sealant triple thick well I actually using crystal clear this time acrylic uh, clear coating Krylon I'm doing it spraying it four times to have it perfectly sealed guys and then we're going to get um this first coat of epoxy um I love doing flood coats they make it so much easier so I will be doing a flood coat first um but before I get ready for that I will be letting this sit for 10 minutes 20 if you have more time uh to flood it fully dry and then crystal clear acrylic sealant four sprays 10 minutes apart okay so I will see you soon all right, guys, so I've let this dry. Um, I sealed it four times with a cl clear acrylic, and I'm going to be using my um, silicone brush, which is available on our website, uh, to pour my epoxy. And this is a flood coat. Um, this is 60 ml, and so I'm just going to uh, just pour this on. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and... Pour this on and I'll fast forward you guys through it and then we'll be back to show you the finished product. Alrighty guys, so once you let this spin for six to eight hours, it's dry to the touch. Uh, just let it sit there for another two to four. Um, I really don't like to touch it unless like it's really, really dry. So six to eight hours to spin and then you are ready to add your decals. Um, so I'm going to fast forward you guys through this, but I just wanted to show you this loveliness. Um, and again, I used a flood coat. Um, it was 60 mLs of epoxy. And then now uh, it's smooth enough here in the centers. It's still a little rigid here at the top and at the edges, but that's okay. I am going to add my decals. I'm going to clean it off with some alcohol. Um, and then I'm going to put it back on the spinner for um, with epoxy. So I'm going to fast forward you guys through it, but I'll, we'll put it, um, here in the link. And I purchased in case you guys are wondering, I had this printed out and I made a boo-boo. So I reprinted that out. Um, I, I got this off of Cricut access on my Cricut. So, so excited about this. And, um, so I will see you after I put on my epoxy to show you the finished product. Hey guys all right so there you have it this um beautiful pencil cup is now complete and ready for 
a gift that I'm giving to my daughter's teacher. So I'm super, super excited. Um, again, these colors can be purchased together in a kit. Um, it's our pencil kit on our website, www.glitterful.com, um, and or purchase separately. Uh, both options has all the colors at two ounces. Um, so thank you so much for joining me today and doing this beautiful design. Um, and, uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to our channel, um, and visit us and join us on Facebook guys. We love, love, love to see new crafters on our group. It's called Glitterful Glitter Fanatics, and I'll have that link below in the description bar. Remember to create as doubt never existed. And I can't wait to see you guys again. Have a glitterful day. Bye.